In this video, we will use JavaScript with the Fetch API to read a JSON file and output its contents here in the HTML. Okay, so I have a simple HTML file here with a heading, list of post titles, because the data here in the data.json file, here we have posts, right? So each post is represented by an object that has a body, a title, ID, and user ID. I actually don't know why it's a user ID here. It's an array, as you can see. And this is JSON format, right? So here we're going to try getting the JSON data in our HTML and then uh, create a list of post titles. Now the data actually comes from a website called uh, JSON placeholder .type code. right? So right now we have an empty list and we basically want to get an LI, you know, with every title, right? This is what we want, but we're going to use JavaScript to create them. Okay, so we're gonna try using fetch here to get the JSON uh, data. So I can write fetch. And the only thing we have to specify here for a get request is the address. So we can say dot forward slash since it's in the same folder, right? If you have to go up one folder, it's two dots, but here it's in the same folder. So it's data.json. This is promise based. Now I have a whole video on the fetch API. Highly recommend you check it out after this one. But on a promise, we can tag on dot then. Right, and typically people format it like this. So with fetch, it's always about a request and response. So eventually we get a response, right? So people call that response or just res. The response data will be in JSON format, right? But here in our JavaScript, we want to have that data as normal JavaScript format, right? So it should be a normal JavaScript array and with, and with normal JavaScript objects in them. So we want to convert the JSON here to normal JavaScript. So we say rest.json. So then in the next dot then block, we get the actual parsed data, right? So here it's normal JavaScript. And let's actually see if this works, right? So I'm going to log the data here. I'm going to save here and we'll go back. So here I'm going to refresh now. So I'm going to reload here and we get an error, right? So we cannot use fetch to access local files. So what we need to do is use a live server. So what you can do in Visual Studio Code is you can go here, live server, this is a very popular one, and uh, you can install that one, right? It's been downloaded millions of times, right? So with this live server, if you update something in your in your file, it will automatically refresh the page, right? So you don't have to keep uh, refreshing manually, but we can use it here as well to circumvent that uh, issue with uh, that course uh, uh, issue. That won't be an issue in production, by the way. It's only it's only during development here because we're dealing with the with the, our local file system and, and the browsers on your computer, they have certain safeguards for accessing files in your local file system. So you can download this. Uh, maybe you have to reload Visual Studio Code. So if you've downloaded it, you can use it in two ways. You should see something here at the bottom. You can click on that and it will automatically find the HTML file in this uh, current directory. You can also right click on the HTML file and then open with live server. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna click here. Uh, this page opens up for me. So now um, when I open this with live server, the error message is gone and we see the data. It's a hundred uh, elements in the array, right? And we can see indeed this is the data that we want, right? So this is working now, we get all the data in here and let's try creating a list out of that, right? So data is an, is an array. Right, this is an array, and on an array we can say for each to loop over each element in the array. Right, and let's see, each each element in the array is an object representing a post. Right, so we get post, and then we can do something with each post here. Let me close the sidebar. So we want to insert that here in the UL. So I I will quickly select the UL. Okay, I like to append L to the variable name if we're selecting an HTML element. Okay, so then with this list, we want to insert an LI basically, right? So what we want for each post is basically LI with the post title, right? So we're going to insert, we want to actually create a new HTML element. So we have two ways of doing that in JavaScript. We can say inner HTML or insert adjacent HTML. And this is actually the one that we need to use here. If you use inner HTML, you're going to replace every previous post, right? So here we want to insert every new one after one another, right? So adjacent to each other. And we have to specify here where each post should be inserted. Should it be at the beginning every time or should or, or at the end every time? 
it should be at the end. So we say before end, right? So right before the end. And then uh, the actual uh, HTML that we want to insert, right? So I'm going to use a template uh, literal here. So here it's the li, right? And then in here, the, the post title. So we can use um, dollar sign curly braces and use the variable here, post.title, right? So I hope you can see it here. It's a little bit tight. Right, so now we loop over each element in the array and we create an li for that. So I'm gonna save here. And because we have live server, it automatically updates the page and we indeed see a list of all the titles. All right, so this was an example of how to use the fetch API to read a JSON file and output the contents here in the HTML. All right, that was it for this video. Hope that you learned a lot. Now, if you like the video and you wanna become a professional modern JavaScript developer, then definitely check out the full course. It has two beautiful real world projects that we built from scratch and you will learn much more like fetch and promises and async await, destructuring the spread operator, advanced JavaScript, how to structure or architect your project, modern front end concepts like components, state and rendering, and much more, it's all in there check it out the link is in the description in any case thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon